Well, then we have this, right? We have, like, these things that uh, we can put them in the therapy room. There you go. Chill out. Seriously, what is wrong with you? <laughs> okay. Hey, folks. Welcome back to After Work Gaming. We are back in Holy Potatoes. We're in space. Now, just to show you, I did one thing from last time. We used to be on this planet. We finished exploring it. And then we went over here because we are helping Mr. Hero get back to his shop. Okay, so we just jumped in here, and we should probably complete our objective. There we go. Let's do it. Cassie, we're here, Mr. Hero. Hero, finally! Home sweet! Wait, what's this? Hey, is this your shop? It's pretty empty and dirty. Hero, where did my shop go? The equipment, the materials, my favorite rug. And why is there dog poop all over the place? Hey, you, you can tell that's dog poop? Wait, are you even sure this is where your shop is? Hero, of course I'm sure! I lived in this shop for years! I would never forget the location of my own shop! What did you... What did that rotten spud face do to my shop? Cassie, maybe they relocated? Hero, I need to look for it! And why was there a dog in the shop? Oh, we'll track my shop down to the ends in the universe, I tell you! And I'll go there and... And I'll... No, oh, my heart! Cassie, whoa, calm down, Mr. Hero. You're starting to bake. Hero, ooh. I think I need to sit down. Cassie, don't worry. We'll find it somehow. Something will turn up, you'll see. Faye, tell you what. You stay here, old man. Cassie, Faye, don't be rude. Faye, Hero, you stay here and see if you can find out what happened to your shop. Cassie, and we'll take the flying Enris around the sector and see if we can find any leads on where your shop went. Hey, exactly. Sit tight, old, uh, 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 uh hero. Ugh. I can't say it without feeling like an idiot. Cassie, hey, there, there, baby sister. You can't say anything without looking like one either. Don't worry about it. You'll get used to it. Faye. Mm. Hero, <laughs> I wish my grandson could have met you too. You definitely get along. Rub it in, Hero. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's see. Can we or should we put any new gear anywhere? No, the succubus is kind of clutched to our whole thing. That's the healer, uh, and these two are scatter shots, which are pretty good for me right now. And uh, yeah, we're researching something, so we're all accounted for. Let's do this then. Let's. Explore this planet. Uh, just out of curiosity, find leads on Hero's shop. Well, that was unfortunate. Let's see if we can find any information on where the shop might have relocated to. Let, uh, let's check these planets out. Uh, and it doesn't look like we have any particular planet to go to, but let's go here, right? Uh, and then we'll pop back to uh, the hub, because I feel like... Unless we get to heal and refuel, I would like to pop back and then... Uh, maybe upgrade some more stuff, like maybe get some better shields or something. But in the meantime, let's go exploring. It'll cost us 12 fuel. Uh, we got a Hop Scorcher, the Boom Barrage, and the Succubus. So both of these are basically scatter shots. This is more of a shotgun because it, it can concentrate fire on a particular uh, mount or a particular hardpoint. And this will actually just bounce between hardpoints. So let's start. Who's there? Hey, did you hear that? Knock. Yes. Knock. Is that, uh, uh, coming from the airlock? Outside the ship? Yes. Knock. Outside the ship? Well, we're out here in space? Mm-hmm. Cassie and Faye exchange deeply concerned and creeped out looks and turn back to the door as it goes. Knock. Knock. Knock, 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 knock. You get the idea. Okay. Okay, we get it. <laughs> okay. I mean, at some point, is it just gonna... All right, come on. Skip it ahead. <laughs> Spadova Witness, maybe? Opens the airlock. Who's there? Nuh-uh. -uh. Nope, nope, to nope, Nopesville. I'm out of here. No, who's there? Uh, who's there? Cassie shouts at the airlock. The knocking doesn't cease. Instead, it increases in intensity. The knocks reverberate throughout the ship, echoing eerily throughout the halls and corridors. Then abruptly... It stops. The lights in the ship begin flickering rapidly, and the ship begins to tremble violently. Cassie and Faye hear the screams of their crew and rush to check on them. 
When they find them, their eyes are all glazed over, and they're hugging their knees. What the hell just happened? Explains Faye. Exclaims Faye. No time for that. Let's get these guys to the med bay. Cassie grunts as she hoists an engineer up. In the distance, the knocking resumes. Knock. 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 And at the end of that last knock, Faye could have sworn she heard a giggle. Pop Scorcher gets status effect Bane. Boom Barrage gets status effect Bane. Succubus gets status effect Bane. And what does that do? What the hell? Looking for Hero Shop 1. Huh. Are you sure about this? There doesn't seem to be anyone in this apartment building. If anything, it seems abandoned and empty. Well... We'll just take a look around, see who we can find. You never know, there might be someone about. The arrow shoots right past Cassie's face and embeds itself in a tree. A potato in greed in green hops out of a nearby tree and pulls back his bow. An arrow pointed at Cassie and Faye. This is the Greenwood, property of the Greenwood Elves. Who goes there? Sorry, I don't know why. It makes me think of Lederhosen. Um, we're just looking for a place. We, 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 we don't mean any harm. The potato narrows his eyes suspiciously and aims at Cassie. Cassie and Faye both raise their hands in surrender. Edibles who say that they are usually lying. What are you here for? Speak quickly! We're just here to ask about a shop, nothing else. Ignore my sister, she's an idiot. She just panicked. While Cassie sputters angrily, Faye explains the situation very quickly. As she's explaining, she suddenly realizes that... Wait. Did we ever ask that old man what shop what shop his shop is? I don't think we ever did. Without any clues about what shop the old man is looking for, the potato simply hands them a stack of flyers and tells them to leave. Stack of flyers plus one. Huh. Okay. Ah, here we go. Uh, Karatez Saboteur. It's like I don't care at all. Wait, I don't. Oop, they have a special weapon. I want it. Oh, they have a boom barrage as well. Or, a, I'm sorry, a hop scorcher. Ooh, 68 to 102. And then a missile. Okay. Uh, what just happened to us? Goop rain. 20% chance to blind all parts. Accuracy down, minus 20% for two turns. I'm assuming that's all of us. Uh, okay, can we do anything here? No, we need four charge because we don't have enough. So... Let's think about what we can do here. I don't... I mean, I care about the missiles. 83 to 125. But this thing is really concerning me a little. And he's got a decent amount of shields. So... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What is this? Accuracy 75? 85. Let's do this. Let's start hitting that hop scorcher. Bam. Nice. More painful than I than than mine. That's unfortunate. Uh, so let's turtle up. Time to turtle up. Defense matrix activated. Okay, okay, okay. This is a uh, end turn. We may we may have miscalculated by not going back to the hub last time, but um, ah, whatever. Let's give it a shot, eh? Uh, that was a missile. What do we got we got four. Do another hop scorcher shot. And then I think next turn will be time to open up with the succubus. Yeah, it'll definitely be time to open up with the succubus. Um, let's lay into you. Let's lay into you. We're good for now, although maybe let's shield up the hop scorcher. Because our hull can take a damn, like, 1,500. That's a lot. That's a decent amount. Okay, chain. Boom. It's gotten through my shields. That's not great. But that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Because now we're still... Oh, damn it, we're at five. That's not good. It's not perfectly fine at all. I'm <laughs> lying. Come on. Forty? No. Oh. Shoot, 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 shoot. This is bad. This is bad. Uh, eight. Um, what is this? Cooldown. Reduces all enemy uh, weapon attack and accuracy by 10% for three turns. No, that's not enough to make me want to waste precious, precious time. So let's... 57, 53, 47. No. Do this. Shoot him. Because next turn we may just lose our hop scorcher, which will be bad. 
Oh, no, it's still there. It's still there, but this is almost gone. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, we're about to lose one of our mounts. That's not good by any stretch of the imagination. So let's let's just take one last shot with this thing. Yeah, there it goes. Fine, boom barrage is down. Can't really do anything then. Let's... Actually, we can hunker up and we'll have enough power to shoot both of our guns. Defense Matrix, good. Uh, no, we won't. <laughs> it's fine. Pick the missile out. We gotta limp back out of the system, guys. Really, really fast. Uh, just holding on now. Uh, yeah, so let's shoot with both. I want to try and make him retreat. I know usually the rule is if you shoot at us, you will get your ship blown up, but, I mean, come on. We're in dire straits right now. Uh, let's... One more time. One more time. Let's go. Bam. Nice. We'll take your money. Go. Money, money, money. We got an Apollo level 3. We got the missile. Okay, good. Stranded. Hmm. There's a distress signal. It's a cargo ship. They're stranded and asking for help with repairs. Really? What do they need? Oh, we've seen this one, right? They need some materials to patch up the things, blah, blah, blah. Send them 10 ore. We'll send some crew over to help. Uh, send them 10 ore. We got 37. Well, let's see. 10 ore. Get some ore created up and sent over. They send over a crate full of ore to the ship and receives a sum of starch in return. They leave feeling content at having helped someone. Plus 944 starch. Good. Exploration, thank God, we're done with the exploration. So, let's see what happens now. Uh, weapon lost. Yeah. Spuffy is not great. Uh, and then we've got 3,000 starch that we found, plus a bunch of bio waste. Okay. 18 saws left. Uh, do 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 do. Combat specialist, defeatist level 1, 20% chance to not perform its assigned task. Well, then we have this, right? We have, like, these things that uh, we can put them in the therapy room. There you go. Chill out. Seriously, what is wrong with you? <laughs> okay. Uh, travel. Let's... Can we go here? No, it's too far away. Let's go here. Right? We won't stop here. We'll just pa we're just passing through the system. Uh, let's go back to the hub. I want to repair. I want to refuel. And I want to see if I can spend some of this cash. Therapy in progress. Still in progress. Research lab is ready. Repair crews level 2. Heals two weapons by 50% at the end of each combat expense. We need this, and this is great. Perfect. Back to the ship. Let's see, what else can we research? I do want to research more. Efficient engine reduces rank. Nah. Shield efficiency reduces the amount of damage, uh, damage taken by shields by 10%. Nah. Mental resilience. When a weapon becomes destroyed, the assigned engineer has a 50% chance to avoid trauma. Well, that could help, but on the other hand... On the other hand, let's put this in. Starch-minded. Uh, I want this because, again, it's nice to have more money. Always nice to have more money, so you're going to keep going. And we are going to keep traveling to the hub. Here we go. Yeah, and we definitely need fuel and uh, repairs. Because that was that was a rough fight. I did not expect how rough that was going to be. Holy moly. Uh, oh! Spuffy's done with her therapy. That's good. Uh, and we need a new weapon, don't we? We want to craft a new weapon right now while we're on the way. What do we have? Apollo? Nobody cares. Boom Barrage. Right? Uh, this is another shrapnel. E Eviscerator. 20% chance to expose. 3 damage versus the Boom Barrage, which is 56. Um, flex attack down. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do the uh, Eviscerator. Let's do... Um, no, nope, research progress. Nope. Here, you. Build. Thank you. For now. I mean, hopefully by the time you're done, we'll be, you know, done. Uh, let's go to the hub. 
now. Let's see, we can probably upgrade our gear here. Crafting workshop, level three, meh. Bridge level four increases our hit points for weapons. That could be useful. But where is our shield? Living quarters charge capacitor. A heavy charge capacitor module that allows the pilot to bank up on more charge at once at the cost of charging up slower. Pick this if you are in for the long haul. Charge gain per turn five. Ooh. Ooh. No pros, but definitely no cons either. That works well for all situations. Uh, a slight light charge capacitor that is highly efficient in recharging itself. The only drawback being it can't store. That's fine. And what do we need for a shield generator? Oh, we will be scraping the bottom of the barrel if we do that. Let's see. Lower shields, shield gain per turn. Balance shield modulate is suitable for all situations. It's only 30 down, but it does re recharge very fast. And combined with our charge capacitor, I feel like this is probably the way to go. Let's buy this. Yes, definitely. And let's buy... Buy this one. Oh, we can't buy that one. It's too... It's too expensive. <laughs> um, no problem. Let's sell some stuff. Nope, that's not what we want to sell. We want to sell this. There we go. Have to sell. Do, 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 do. What do we want to sell? Robin Hood? Yeah, let's sell that. Thank you. We don't need this. Uh, let's sell a bunch of level 2 schematics. Warp Scorcher level 2. Meh. Flashbang level 2. Meh. Pacifist level 2. Meh. Definitely Foghorn. Meh. Who cares? Right? Boom Barrage level 2. Who cares? Right? We got enough money for that, for that, uh, for our charger now. The capacitor. Let's put something else on the table here. What else? E-shooter level 2. Nobody cares. We got three level three, uh, two level three pea shooters. We can sell this, and we can sell the Apollo because nobody cares. Uh, so that's good. Let's leave. Let's go back here. We got some money now. Let's get our light charge capacitor. This is what I want. And now let's also get the bridge. Right, right. We are pretty poor now, pretty destitute, but we also have upgraded all of our gear to be much better, and to be able to hold out much longer, I think. So, let's go back on the road. Which way do we want to go this time? Let's... Friendly, level 3, large... Blah, 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 blah. We need ore? We do need ore. Let's go here. Get some ore. One sol, 15 sols left. Okay. We do... It, it is nice to have a good amount... Ooh. Perfect, and the eviscerator is done. So let's install it before anything else. Bam. You, you're done. You on here. You on here. So we are back to full capacity, just with everything more, right? Better capacitor, more hit points for the guns, and uh, better shields. Let's explore this planet and see what it's all about. Thing looks pretty cool. Eviscerator level three. Let's start. Okay, looking for Hero's Shop 2. I don't know how we are going to ask about this without knowing what shop that old man ran. I can't believe that I forgot to ask. It'll be fine. Look, we'll just ask around for new shops and we'll find it eventually. Hey! Cassie looks around and spots a bald, spectacled potato carrying a laptop walking past. She calls out to him and he turns around. Do you know of any shops in the area? Uh, new shops? Hmm... What would you give me for this information? Nothing for free around here. Um, we have starch? Come on, pretty please with a cherry on top? Well, since you asked nicely... Flattered, he helps them do a search on his laptop to find a few new shops in the area and prints out a bunch of flyers using his laptop's inbuilt printer. Cassie and Faith thank him for his help and leave with a stack of flyers. Did you really have to do that, Cassie? That was... ugh. I feel dirty. Stack of flyers, plus one. Fine. Sometimes you gotta smooth talk. Alright, what do we got? A strange chest. While roaming the skies above Terra, the ship's onboard metal detection system picks up signs of an ornate chest half buried in the side of a hill. A treasure chest? There's gotta be treasure inside! Bring it up, Faye! 
Sure, it could be dangerous. Let's say No, we're taking it on. Thank you. Whoops. Cassie rushes to open the chest as soon as it is brought on board. Ooh, here goes nothing. Is that a bomb? <laughs> oh, no. Throw it out. Throw it out. They did not manage to throw it out in time, and it explodes in the ship, damaging the hull. Hull hit points, minus 300. Damn it. Oh, well. Look. No risk, no reward, right? Moving on. Who? A large blue box with the words police box on it phases into view in front of Cassie and Faye. A potato in a tweed suit steps out of the box, and his face splits into a big grin when he spots Cassie and Faye. Cassie! Faye! Good to see you again! The potato smiles at them enthusiastically, and Cassie and Faye look at him in confusion. Who are you? Don't you remember me? Oh! Wait, yes, this is before we I met you two. So, I know the two of you don't... Uh, two of you, but you two don't know me yet. Because you haven't met me before, but I've already met you, and you are meeting me for the first time right now. Upon seeing Cassie's utterly confused expression, he waves off the explanation. Don't worry about it. It's complicated, this timey-wimey stuff. Ah, yes, there's something really important that I need you to do for me. I need you to hold on to this thing and give it back to me when you meet me again for the first time. When I meet you for the first time, and, and you meet me for not the first time... Did you get that? The strange potato takes a long item out of his coat pockets and looks at Cassie and Faye with a bright grin, his eyes sparkling. Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, no? Hmm, yeah, I think I do. Let's go with the, um, no? I, I don't get it. I have no idea what's happening, and I have no idea who you are. Sorry, but we need to go. Cassie walks away from this crazy potato, Faye trailing behind her. She looks back worriedly at him, who looks utterly disappointed. I feel really bad about this, Cassie. Maybe we should help him. Just ignore him, Faye. He's nuts. Oh, that's the end? <laughs> Thought maybe they would, like, explain it a little bit more, but all right, fine. Martial Arts Manuals. Hey, young lady. I can see that you have a potential to be a great martial artist. Do you want to buy a martial arts manual? I've got a great selection, and only at the highly affordable price of... What the hell? First off, I can't even afford that. Cassie stares at the haggard, bearded old edible, offering her a handful of books. She looks thoughtfully at the books. Nah, I, it's not that I don't need it, I can't afford it. You could learn amazing arts, martial arts skills, like the Heavenly Soaring Palm, or the Twelve Dragon Kicks. You could be amazing, you could... Cassie quickly be, leaves before the old edible could tempt her to actually buy a book. A robot cat with no ears. What is he? <laughs> Give it back! Cassie jumps away from the dashboard as a round head pops out from near nearby drawer, glaring angrily uh, at Cassie. Faye stares at the figure that hops out of the tiny drawer. It's a large, rounded thing with blue fur and has a large pocket attached to its belly. How did you get in here? How did you squeeze yourself That's such a small space? That's not the point! You stole something from me. Give it back! talking about? I didn't steal anything. You did! It's missing! You tell it, Faye. I didn't steal anything. Cassie didn't steal anything. Did you actually take something, Cassie? What are you? Yeah, what are you? I am a robot cat made to... That's not the point! You're a robot? How do you work? Who's your creator? Where are your ears? How do, your... How do your limbs move so smoothly? What lubricant are you using? Are your limbs a piston system, or what? Cassie and Faye poke and prod at the thing incessantly, unable to bear this invasion of personal space any further. It runs and dives back into the drawer from whence it came. Okie dokie. Super mushrooms. I'm pretty sure you shouldn't eat that. Faye enters the bridge and narrows her eyes as she watches Cassie salivate over a brilliantly colored mushroom with a green and white polka dotted cap. What? But how can something so pretty be so cruel? It obviously tastes delicious. The bright colors sing to me, Faye. It's singing. Eat me. <laughs> can you imagine that, Faye? Mushroom singing? That'll be the day. Faye, alarmed by her sister's behavior, looks around the room and notices a lot of leftover mushroom stalks littered all over the floor of the bridge. Where did you find these? And for Spud's sake, how many have you eaten? I, I, I don't know. Someone here was here to fix the plumbing earlier and, like, just left a bag of these around. And I don't know, about eight? But this one, this one's special. It's so pretty. Faye closes her eyes and takes a deep breath. 
Put that down right now. Wait, let me get the video camera. Are there more? Um, let me get the video camera. Ready? Cassie tries to say through fits of laughter and chuckling as she dangles the mushroom over her mouth. One sec. Okay, perfect. Do it. Faye finds it except extremely difficult to stifle her own laughter. Cassie pops it like candy into her mouth and chews furiously before swallowing it. Faye looks intently at her sister through the viewfinder, waiting for something to happen. Cassie pats herself up and down and looks into the camera and begins laughing like a drunk. Well, that was anticlimactic. Famous last words. Before Cassie can finish her sentence, a tidal wave of vomit comes splashing out of her mouth, splattering Faye and the video camera. Every single bit of green goopiness sticks itself onto Faye. Cassie stands there in shock as she watches Faye wipe the goop off her face. Looking at each other in awe and without missing a beat, they both break out laughing. Oh man, this is going on SpudTube for sure. Embarrassing evidence, plus one. <laughs> Exploration complete. That was fun. I like that. Also, sisterly bonding. Come on. Uh, okay. Nothing, nothing, and a bunch of ore. Perfect. 14 souls left. Okay, so, uh, we have a little bit more to go. I'm assuming we have to visit just one more planet in order to, uh, finish up this whole hero shop thing. Uh, we will do that next time. We'll call it there for now. Next time, hopefully, we will not get into a fight that actually results in everybody dying. But, uh, who knows? You know, we're on the journey through the cosmos. Uh, next time, we'll probably go check out uh, either New Pitar or we'll go back to the hub and then go to New Pitar. We'll see. Uh, it really kind of just depends on, uh, you know, what we want to do. Uh, if you guys have a preference, let me know in the comments. Also, if you guys enjoyed this, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend. Let's me know that I'm doing something right. Let's me know that you guys want to see more of this stuff. If you have thoughts on the game, you think I'm overlooking something, you think I could be doing something differently, or maybe I'm doing something wrong, by all means, leave a comment. Everything's welcome, and in any case, I'll see you all next time. Better